Today I'm going to show you how to assemble the Toro 724 QXE snowblower with personal pace. It's going to be fun. Let's get to it. So within these cardboard walls is the Toro Snowmaster 724 QXE snowblower with personal pace. Can't wait to unbox this for you and put it together. Special thanks to Toro for being such a great partner to the channel and sending this to me so that I could do this for you. Uh, we'll go ahead and unbox this. We'll put it together. You can buy these from the big box stores and they'll come pre-assembled unless you order them online. Now if you do decide to buy this online, which is what a lot of people are doing these days, it will come like this and you'll have to put it together. There's not a lot to it. It won't take very long. You can buy these from the big box stores, but just know that it may not be assembled correctly and you might have to go over it anyway, so it's better, in my opinion, to assemble it yourself and make sure that you know it's done right. Looks like someone was doing a little math work before this got shipped out to me here. I got a 39 and 14 is 53, yep. 32 and 14 is 46. What do you know? Now if I could stress anything when you're doing this, just make sure that you follow the instructions. Toro's really good about providing nice clear instructions for you. Uh, they come in a Ziploc bag here and there's a little bit of hardware in there as well so that you can connect everything together. Um, but just make sure that you go through the instructions here and make sure that you're getting everything done. All right, so getting started with these assembly instructions, step one is to raise up and secure the handle. Now that's pretty easy to do, just know that it is secured to the main frame handle with the zip tie, so you gotta disconnect that zip tie, and then you can lift up the handle and then tighten it down with the twisted clamps on both sides. Next thing you wanna go ahead and do is go ahead and install the chute and attach it. And super easy to do, there's a little housing right behind the, the lower chute there uh, where the snow comes up out of the auger and just slide it in there, attach it with a single bolt and nut. Now the bolt side is gonna be a 3 8 inch socket and then I used a 7 16 wrench on the nut side to attach that together. Next step is to attach the rod that connects the quick stick to the chute housing itself. And that takes just a couple of uh, bolts and nuts. So the first wire that you're going to attach is going to be the one that attaches to the crossbar that you just installed and that's the wire that connects the quick stick to the actual chute. The last bolt is attached directly to the main housing right in front of the right wheel and it's just a quick uh, 3 8 inch uh, bolt. Now I have to say that this step is probably the biggest booger for me just because the bolt doesn't fit through the connector into the frame very smoothly. The hole is slightly small so what I did was I just took my impact driver and drove it through and then connected it to the frame. Not a big deal, just a little bit of a pain. If you don't have a drill or an impact driver, it kind of makes this step a little bit more difficult. 
but it is doable. Now once those steps are complete, your assembly is right about finished, you just want to check a couple things first. If there's not, go ahead and add some oil in there. Uh, there is oil recommendations in the manual. The second thing is to check the tire pressure in the tires. Uh, max inflation on these tires is 20 PSI. I checked the first one, found that it had 18 and a half. Second one was a little high, so I let some out and got lucky and it landed right on 18 and a half. So both sides are the same and it's ready to go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put some gas in here and fire it up for the first time. Well, there you go. She's unboxed, assembled, and ready to go to work. Now, we wait. Hopefully, we'll have some snow here real soon, and I'll be able to give you my thoughts on this, a complete review, and dive in a little bit deeper, uh, things I like about this and, and stuff like that. So I hope that's helpful for you. hope that um, you find the assembly process as easy as I did. It really doesn't take more than about 10 or 15 minutes to do, and this feels like a solid piece of equipment, and um, I really look forward to using it this season. So that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.